a strange little story. It's, it's only in the sun, so it probably needs triple checking. But apparently the, the, the TV show The MASH Report, which um, I can't claim to be a regular viewer of, it's way past my bedtime, has apparently been axed for political reasons at the behest of a government appointee. Which, forget about left and right, and forget about um, woke and anti-woke, forget about, or racism and, and anti-racism, as, as those words usually translate to. Um, forget about all of those things, and just focus on the words here. A, pro a, a television programme has been cancelled by the state broadcaster. I'll try again. A television program that is critical of the government has been cancelled by the state broadcaster by a director general appointed by the government. All right, third time lucky. A television program that is critical of the government has been cancelled for political reasons. <laughs> by a director general appointed to run the state broadcaster by the government. And forget what your loyalties or your allegiances are or what you think they are in this ludicrous crucible of moral and intellectual corruption that we inhabit together, that we call home. Just think about that. Uh, now tell me whether you think you're in England or in Russia. So, uh, listen, I'm not here to defend the MASH report. I, 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 I've seen some of Nish Kumar's work. He, he's the main presenter, and, and I've really, really enjoyed it. I'm a big fan of what I've seen of Rachel Paris, who's a, who's a routine contributor to the show. And there's a guy called Jeff Norcott, who is regularly described as being a right-wing comedian, um, who's also made some very funny contributions to that programme. But I, I can't... I don't know that I've ever watched the whole episode from beginning to end. So if it's, if it's really been axed because people haven't found it funny or because people aren't watching it, then that's a completely different proposition. I'm going entirely on what's been reported in in a right-wing newspaper, which is not always the best course of action to pursue, is it? But just think about that. And then tell me whether you think that's something that would happen under Boris Johnson or Vladimir Putin. A television programme critical of the government has been cancelled by a man appointed by the government. OK, I think I might have to review my conviction that there's no such thing as cancel culture. Once you step away from the very complicated transgender debate, of course. Because that, I mean, what is cancel culture if it's not a government appointee shutting down a, a programme on the state broadcaster that's critical of the government?